the Ukrainian Defense Forces could carry out an operation in the territory of Transnistria, where the aggressor country Russia stores large stockpiles of ammunition and military equipment. However, this task is not a priority for the Ukrainian armed forces. This opinion was expressed in an interview with Oboz Revatel, media outlet by the former deputy chief of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, Lieutenant General Igor Romanenko. It is important for us to achieve success there and put an end to this Russian cancerous tumor on the territory of Moldova on the border with Ukraine, he emphasized. According to the general, the Ukrainian Armed Forces Command needs to focus on the situation in the east of our country where the occupation army continues to advance. When this advance is stopped, if the necessary forces and resources are available, it will be possible to begin a military operation to create a buffer zone on the territory of Transnistria. Russia has few troops there, but powerful warehouses with ammunition and equipment. All of this was brought there from all over Eastern Europe when the Warsaw Pact was falling apart. And we have the corresponding forces in that direction, Romanenko explained. But I would like to emphasize that this could be an effective move if the appropriate resources were available, he concluded. The Ministry of Defense of the Transnistrian Moldovan Republic reported that after analyzing the experience of Russian forces in Ukraine, it was decided to outfit their tank fleet with systems designed to protect against drones. This decision reflects the growing threat of unmanned aerial vehicles in modern warfare. Transnistria's army currently possesses 17 Soviet-era T-64 tanks, 12 of which are operational, while the other five are in reserve. The tank battalion of the 1st Independent Guards Motorized Rifle Brigade is stationed in the village of Vladimirovka, just four kilometers from the Ukrainian border. During recent military exercises in the Republic, the Ministry of Defense showcased two tanks equipped with protective structures commonly known as grills. These structures are designed to shield the upper part of the tank turret from drone attacks. Given the limited number of tanks in Transnistria's arsenal, it is likely that this protection has been installed on all of them. In the Russian military, this type of protection has become standard on tanks due to the high prevalence of drones on the battlefield. Tanks now come equipped with these defenses directly from the factory, although many units also make additional modifications based on their combat experience. A school employee shot and killed three people in a town in northwestern Bosnia, police said. The shooter was severely injured after trying to kill himself. The shooting took place at a secondary school in Sanski Most, about 300 kilometers northwest of Bosnia's capital, Sarajevo, said regional police spokesman Adnan Beganovic. The employee allegedly had a dispute with the school management, the Associated Press News Agency said. Police are yet to provide a motive for the attack. Bosnian schools are closed for the summer holiday, but Beganovic said there were people in the school as repeat examinations were underway. The victims included the school principal, a secretary, and a teacher, said Beganovic. Regional N1 television reported that the man had a dispute with school management. The Clicks News portal said that an English language teacher was among the victims. No other details were immediately available. The Balkan region has been awash with small arms and weapons since the wars of the 1990s, which saw Yugoslavia break up, particularly in Bosnia, a country of about 3.5 million people. But mass shootings are rare. Check, check. Ah, yeah, for sure,